Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree craft for you today. We're going to be making a faux succulent wall hanging. The tools that you're going to be needing are your glue gun and glue sticks, a good pair of scissors and some wire cutters, some craft sticks. You're going to need some Gorilla wood glue. I picked this up from Lowe's. And if you have them, I'm going to use some of these little clips that I got from the Dollar Tree to help hold everything together while it dries. You're going to need some apple barrel paint in burnt umber. You can get this at Walmart for a two ounce bottle is only 50 cents. And then you're going to need a little bit of water, a cup and a paintbrush. The materials that you're going to be needing are, you're going to need four of these little wood containers. You can use the little crates if you want, anything that is small and square like this that you can find will work. You need four of them. You're going to need some moss. I have several different kinds of moss here that I've collected over the time. This is the reindeer moss that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I also have some uh, green moss that I've had for years. And then I also found this a while ago from Walmart. It's a decorative moss kit and it comes with a lot of different colors of moss. So it's up to you depending on how much money you want to spend and what's available to you. But just the regular reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree will work. You're also going to need some of the uh, moss rocks that you get at the Dollar Tree. And then you're going to need a good selection of succulents. Now I have several different sizes. The ones that come on the clips are usually the smallest. Uh, the only ones that I'm using that are not from the Dollar Tree are these. I bought these because they hang. And they were on sale when I bought them from Michaels. They're regularly $4.99 a piece. And they were 50% off, so I got two for $4.99. And then I have just an assortment of different sizes and different kinds. I have a couple here that are very large. And then I have some that were in the pots. And I have some that are clips. Now, you just want to get a nice assortment of different types and different colors. That will keep your project much more interesting. Okay, let's get cleaned up and we'll get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to figure out what pattern you want to lay out your boxes. And I've already kind of worked on that and figured it out. So this is how I'm going to put all of my boxes together. Okay, so I was been playing around with these and this is how I like it the best. So this is how I'm going to be laying out all of them. So before I paint them, I need to glue them. It seems usually when you paint something and then you try to glue it shortly after you paint it, especially when you're using the hot glue, it does not hold. So I'm going to be using a mixture of the Gorilla Wood Glue and hot glue so that I can get kind of a fast hold and then a long term hold. Because once we get all the succulents in this, it is going to have some weight to it. So we want to make sure that it does not come apart. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the wood glue.
Okay, I have all my pieces attached. They are glued together. The Gorilla Glue suggests that you allow it to dry 20 to 30 minutes uh, and have it clamped. So I have had it clamped. I'm going to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then I will be back and we will paint. Okay, while I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my succulent. The ones that are on the clips, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the clips. And then the ones that have a really long stem, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. The only ones that I'm not going to cut down at all are the hanging ones because I'm not sure how much of the stem I'm going to need. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish prepping those. To add even more support, I am using the large craft stick from Dollar Tree and I'm putting two to connect the two boxes. And it's very simple, just run a nice bead of glue down. So that you get good contact. There's nothing worse than working really hard on a project and getting it just the way you like and then a week later it falls apart on you. <laughs> so this way this puppy is nice and strong and secure. We'll be able to hold the weight of everything and will look great hanging on your wall. Okay, now that this is nice and secure, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and paint. Now I want to do just a really light paint on this because I want it to look more stained than painted. And that's easy to do with the paint. The color again that I'm using is Burnt Umber. This is a nice, dark, rich brown, and it works really well for this technique. So just go ahead and put some paint in a cup, and then you're going to want to water that down. Just add some water, and then mix it together really good until it's all the same consistency. It's very liquidy. Okay. Now the trick is just to work quickly. Go ahead and get it on there and then you want to go ahead and wipe it off. So do a section. That way you can, it looks like a stain and you'll still be able to see the wood grain. Don't worry about it being perfect. You don't want it or need it to be perfect. You just need to get coverage. So just get it on there quickly and then wipe it off. Now you can choose your finish. If you do not like a dark finish, you can always paint this white. You can use a lighter brown color. You can just go over and antique it. And do whatever type of style will fit your home decor. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the inside and all of the outside, but I'm not going to do the back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it all done. Now I noticed there are some areas where the paint just wouldn't take, which is fine. I can always hide that. And it also makes it look a little bit more rustic, which is kind of the look that I'm going for. But it's all nice and dry now, so I can go ahead and start to fill in. 
I did want to let you know before I started putting all the stuff in, when you hang this, you're going to need to put a hanger here and a hanger here for it to be able to hang properly. So just keep that in mind. Okay, got all my little goodies here, my little rocks. I've got some different kinds of moss and all my succulents. So I am ready to go here. Okay, so I'm basically just going to be putting the succulents down on the bottom. The tall, I have a couple taller ones that will fill in, but the open, there'll be some open spaces near the top, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And then you just need to decide what you want where and how you want to lay everything out. I have some that are really large. Those I want to make sure go into my tall ones. And I may have to go and cut some of these off to get them to sit properly inside that box. I also grabbed uh, two sprigs or stems of this type of floral. It's just kind of the spring floral. It has that fluff. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but I might. I decided to grab it. I think it would look good with a few sprigs put inside. So the first thing is just kind of go through and decide what succulents you want where and your placement, your color variations, those type of things. And it's easy if you just kind of go in and place them. And also you want to vary in size. It'll make it much easier. Okay. okay, so that looks like that's about where I want to go with that. So I'm going to start down here. Hard to get you to make sure you're in the frame there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just lay down a little bit of the moss. I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a little bit of blue and then lay down some moss. Go ahead and add in. Nice big amount of blue there. This is one of the big ones, so I want to make sure I get him in first. Add in a little bit more moss. I like having the moss as the background. I think it looks good. It keeps that natural look to it. So just play with the colors, shapes, and sizes of what you have. Just work with it until things look right. If you're not quite sure what you want to place or how you want to place them, just play with them before you glue them down. And you can add all different types of things to this. Um, you can also add in some of the small pieces of cut wood that the Dollar Tree sells. 
You could also add in some of the fairy garden. You could actually do this and do a full fairy garden this way. It's up to you what you want to use and what you think looks nice. There's so many different options. And don't be afraid to change it up if you decide, oh, well, I want it to look different. Feel free. But from this point, it's just your creativity. I personally like a nice variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. Okay, so there's my bottom box. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the other boxes, and then I will be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I got everything on there. I'm very pleased with the results. I decided to go ahead and add succulents across the top here and down here as well. I am very pleased. In the back, I did go ahead and attach a hanger on both sides. I just put a piece of jute cord down. I did double it uh, since this is heavy tied a knot on either end, glued that down, and then put a little piece of ribbon over the top and glued that down as well. I've already tried it out. It hangs very well. But I am very pleased with my faux succulent wall hanging. If you enjoyed this craft, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I do upload new content several times a week. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you next time.